From your hyper-local weather source, this is your Norcast Weather Update. Brought to you by Storybook Land and EHT. Enter a world of wonder and whimsy and create everlasting memories for your family. Over 15 rides and dozens of themed attractions. For tickets, hours, and more info, visit storybookland.com. Hey, good afternoon, folks. Heading into peak heating, temperatures climbing up through the 80s right now. The implications of that moisture are certainly being felt across the area. Now, I think rain chances are really starting to tick up here for those of us who do get some rain today. Uh, we're really starting to see that moisture take effect across the state. So we'll have to watch for those showers and storms here over the next couple hours, especially as the atmosphere gets a little more juice as that wind continues out of the south and southeast just barely. So we'll keep an eye on that there. Temperatures are going to be climbing probably around right now. It's about probably the peak, reasonably speaking. Temperatures will be in about the mid to upper 80s in some of the hot spots. Along the coast, we'll call it lower 80s, but notice those rain chances. That's what I'm talking about. Those are probably peaking right about now, lasting through the next four to six hours. So bring an umbrella if you want to go out and lunch. Uh, take a look outside. Make sure it's not raining out there. And if it might uh, start looking like that, yeah, go inside. Thunder roars, go indoors. It's kind of that kind of situation today. I think some of these storms might be a little more robust too. We're kind of on the secluded front, which means these two fronts kind of colliding. And then notice here, next few hours, storms start to pop up through the day, lasting through about six or seven o'clock. So that's about what we can expect for today. Same for tomorrow as well. Maybe not a little more you know, might even be a little more widespread for our Sunday, to be quite honest with you. We keep this kind of occluded front here, blocking off any conditions from the west. Wind stays out of the south and east, and then boom, watch this. Through the afternoon, through tomorrow, yeah, more rain chances, some of which might be on the more robust side if those storms can really establish themselves through tomorrow afternoon. I think we keep these rain chances through the first half of the week as well. I think the most robust rain chances are probably tomorrow, to be quite honest with you. I think the most widespread chances might be there, but we'll have to keep an eye on Monday as well. So big picture, let's see what we have in store long term. A lot of people have been asking about Lee. Want to touch on this one more time here just so we can see what we're talking about in terms of what we can expect. We're really not too sure at this moment. That's kind of the long and short of it. I can tell you this much though, whether or not it makes landfall, which to be honest with you, I just I'm not sure about that. The cone of uncertainty is just so wide. It could end up down here. It could end up up here over the next several days. We just need to see how it evolves. But whether or not it makes landfall in the northeastern United States, we will have surf conditions that will be really bad by the end of the weekend and next weekend, and some dangerous riptides and likely some coastal flooding as well. So, you know, whether or not we get a big old eye hitting, you know, New Jersey or Long Island, we just need to watch this because the impacts can be felt even when it's hundreds of miles away or more. I think we know that better than anybody. So we'll just keep an eye on that in the big picture. Some other good news though, we are cooling off just a little bit, much of the eastern United States is as well. So we have some nice conditions to look forward to, at least in terms of the sheer weather over the next seven to 10 days. Now, rain chances over the next five or so days, especially through the first half of the week, but there, notice that cooling trend starting to pick up some wind as well by the end of the week when we get into that, you know, kind of influence of the wind field of Lee there. Of course, we'll keep an eye on that time frame, but in the meantime, just a few showers, pretty typical summer week. Thanks for watching.